what is up everyone welcome back to my youtube channel i'm paige mercandy and today i am going to be sharing some of my tips to good hygiene long lasting scent and just a good and products that i recommend um for summer of 2023 let's just get into the video <laughs> everyone so i went ahead and turned the lights up on my vanity mirror so we're good to go now um but anyway i think we're gonna start from head to toe um hygiene stuff so first thing that we're gonna be looking at is let me go ahead and look all right so first thing we're gonna start with is shampoo and conditioner so uh, i use the shampoo and conditioner all the time this is the OGX Coconut Miracle Oil Shampoo um, and Conditioner. This stuff is good for getting soft hair. So it helps your hair be soft. Soft, silky strands, basically. It says, let me read this for you. Drench dry damaged strands with the secret of Maui. This ultra-rich repairing blend with essential oil, essence of tyre, and vanilla bean extract helps to repair, soften, and revive strands. Discover silky soft hair. So, this is also extra strength. Um, OGX has multiple of these. They don't just have the Coconut Miracle Oil ones. I think they have, like, Argan Oil or whatever it's called. Um, but, yeah, you can go ahead and try OGX. Uh, they have super long-lasting scents, and it leaves your hair super well-scented. Right, so number two is gonna also be another shampoo and conditioner I recommend. And that is the Maui. Wait a second. It says, drench dry damage strands with the secret of Maui. I'm sorry if you guys hear any banging in the background. Um, it's getting close to the 4th of July and people are setting off fireworks. So, I'm sorry for that. Wait, this is Maui right here. Okay. But it says the secret of Maui. Are these like... Do they like own the same brand? Well, they're maybes. Hmm. Damn. I don't know. But anyway, Maui is a moisture hair care. I have two different ones here. Uh, I have this lightweight pl hy plus hydration. With hibiscus water in it shampoo for all hair types and then i have this nourish and moisture plus coconut milk conditioner for dry hair types um they're good for moisture they're great for scent keeps your hair nicely scented um but you could go ahead and either either do the ogx or the maui again you don't have to get these exact ones i just chose these ones because of my hair type but there are also different ones for different hair types so the next thing that we're going to do is i have like one face product in here if that makes sense and that is the tree hut um hydrating sugar face scrub it is watermelon cactus water it is aha in it i think that's what it is um, it hydrates, cleanses pores, and smooths. This stuff is really good for deep cleansing your face. Although you you don't want to use it all the time because it's not super good to use a sugar scrub on your face all the time, or at least a face scrub. Um, so don't be using that every single day. Um, maybe like once a month, once every two months, I'd recommend, honestly. Um, but anyway, let's continue. So deodorant super important if you want to stay smelling fresh especially if you have bo um or if you're getting bo um this is my recommendation this is the native grapefruit and bergamot paraben free and aluminum free uh deodorant if you don't know what native is then native is a super 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 nice um body um brand they have shampoos they have body washes 
they have i think lotions i don't know um if you don't know what native is that's what native is basically um i have this but you can also get different deodorant scents if you would like because this obviously isn't the only one you can get all right so the next thing is i am going to recommend another deodorant this one is by dove it is a dry spray um cool essentials cucumber um deodorant it's just a nice for it lasts for 48 hours and it's just a nice like fine mist if you don't want to like get too crazy with like the actual like deodorant deodorant because this is like a lot of like a more light scent so sprays like that you just spray it so next up we have the native candy shop collection this just recently came out but this is by far my favorite scent out of it again i've been trying to get the gummy bear scent but I haven't been able to get it for some reason. But this is the Native um, Candy Shop Sour Berry Belt Body Wash. And it's sulfate-free, paraben-free, dye-free. It smells like actual sour belts. And it is amazing. It doesn't last, the scent doesn't last super long, not gonna lie. But it is nice on the skin. It is nice on the skin. And it, I'd say Native is pretty natural. So next up... This one is like a multi soap, but you can also use it as like a body wash. This is a Dr. Brommer's um, lavender uh, soap. It can be used for many different uses. It can be used for your like body wash, um, be used for like your soap pump. It could just be used for like, yeah, like cleaning your hands, like soap, soap. It's basically just soap, but you can use this for a body wash. And it is, I'd say, it lasts for a little bit. It does last, but it doesn't last as long as you think it lasts. But this is also just, an, again, like a natural thing. You can get this from your natural grocers. Next up, another natural body wash. Sounds so weird. Um, we have the Method Body Wash. Now, this one is a uh, magnolia scented, and it is with plant-based cleansers, and it's dermatologist tested. We love our dermatologist tested products. Um... Now, this stuff lasts for quite a bit. It does. Um, I'd say it does. I don't know. It depends for you. It might last long for you. It might not. I don't know. Um, but I'd say it lasts a while. And it smells really good. It smells really good. But again, another one of our natural girlies. If you're into that more natural soaps and stuff. Next up, we have the coco paradise by bath and body works shower gel now i don't know if they still have this around if they do you can get it if they don't i'm sorry about that you can go ahead and look for other scents bath and body works does have some good shower gels but this one is the coco paradise aloe and vitamin e shower gel now this is less natural this isn't really natural um it does smell like a paradise it smells like um it smells like paradise <laughs> i don't know how to about that it smells like tropical i'd say it just smells like coconuts it definitely smells like coconuts but yeah bath and body works my goodness when are they ever gonna stop setting off fireworks it's not even fourth of july yet okay but anyway i think we're gonna move on to our last yeah, our last body wash. So this is the Tree Hut Coco Colada Foaming Gel Wash. You guys are going to see Tree Hut quite a bit because I am obsessed with Tree Hut. Um, it has a hydrating oil complex and it has pineapple and coconut and it radi it's radiant and it refreshes. Um, this smells like... This smells like coconuts and like pineapples, I'd say. Maybe like a little bit of lime in there. But it smells really good, and it's pretty, it's long lasting. So this one is a little bit off topic. This is for anybody who likes to take baths. Now, you can also get, just get, go to your local Lush, if you have a Lush, and get like a Lush bath bomb. If you don't have a Lush, you could probably order Lush online. If you don't know what Lush is, they sell bath bombs, they sell body stuff. Um, I love their bath bombs. They 
smells super good, and I'd say they're long-lasting. Now, this is the Lush um, Rainbow Soap Bar. It's kind of like a Play-Doh. It's like bath Play-Doh, and you, like, play with it in the bathtub. And it smells, it smells really good. I think there's multiple scents. Cherry Lime Oil Mingles with Calming Vanilla and Chamomile for a purely blissful perfume. And it says fun. So, I would recommend this, but again, you can also just go to Lush and get a bath bomb too if you would prefer that. Next up, I am moving on to my all-time favorite hygiene thing, and that is sugar scrubs. Now, I am recommending two sugar scrubs to you from, again, Tree Hut. This is the vanilla sugar scrub. It is long-lasting, smells super amazing and is great for using before you you shave um it's for smooth renewed skin and it's pretty natural i'd say and it just smells great overall i love i love stuff that leaves you with a great scent um i love great scented products um now this other one that i recommend is the coco colada Wait, did I have another Coco Colada? Oh yeah, I had the um the body wash, shower gel Coco Colada. But this smells the exact same as the shower gel, except for it's just in a sugar scrub and it smells amazing. Now, I am going to be doing some little like shaving things that I would recommend. Now, this is the skin teammate raspberry rain moisturizing shave gel um god i opened it up oh my god i opened what the heck this is like god what the heck is going on Do you hear that? Okay, but anyway, this is, I'm scared it's gonna explode. We're just gonna put that out. But yeah, that's, it's a gel and when you put it on your legs, it turns into a foam and then you just rub it around and then you shave. Now this, if, this is like a shave oil. So you can put this on and then you can shave if you don't wanna use the shaving cream, shave oil. Um, this is the Tree Hut Watermelon Moisturizing Shave Oil Soothes Skin and Helps Protect Against Cuts, so it prevents you from cuts, from cuts, and it also is great smelling. I have the Calm Haven Lavender and Iris Aroma Therapy um, Nighttime Body Butter for from Bath & Body Works. Now, this is more for, like, sleep, like, you put this on, like, before you go to sleep. There also is the spray that goes with it that you spray on your pillows and it helps you sleep better. Uh, really great, really amazing. Uh, calms you down and smells so good. We have the Tree Hut Watermelon Body Butter. Now this is a nice buttery texture and it's great for at sh like when you're done shaving, like you come out of the shower, you put this on. It helps um, keep your legs nice and soft after shaving. And it is a long lasting scent. Now, next up, we have the Bomb Dia Bright Cream from Sol de Janeiro. And it brightens your skin. It's just for any dark spots you might have, I'm pretty sure. And it's super cute, super well scented and works really well. Now next up, my last lotion. This one is a natural one, obviously. Um, this is the Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Lotion and it nourishes your skin. Nourishes dry skin and it is fragrance free. If you don't want fragrance, but there's also a lavender one, I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah. Next up, I have hand sanitizers. Really, any hand sanitizer works, but I would recommend um, Bath & Body Works ones, but here are the three that I recommend. I'm pretty sure that Flannel was a seasonal one, though, and same thing with Poppy. Um, but I recommend Champagne Toast, Poppy, 
and flannel. Now we're gonna get into our final things. And I'm also gonna show you guys a little bit of hacks that I know. So, you know we have our fragrance free lotion here. And I also have some Vaseline. So for anybody wondering how to keep your fragrance lasting longer, I actually just found out how to do this. I have the Cool and Bright um, Pink Mist and the Warm and Cozy one. And then I also have the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Crush number 40 Mist. I would recommend all of these. Again, super well scented. But I'm not going to lie. They don't last very long. These two. Now this one... This one lasts a while. This one's really good. Um, but these two, they last for a little while, but then they... They dropped. But then, they kind of fade off. So, on one arm, I'm going to put some Vaseline on. And on the other arm, I'm going to put some fragrance-free lotion on. And I'm going to wait and see which one lasts longer. So, I have... I'm sick of this. I'm sick of this. I'm sick of this. It's 9.35 at night. It's not even 4th of July. I'm sorry. I just, I just hate being annoyed by fireworks. Oh, wait. You can see, like, the little lights and stuff. Okay. But anyway, moving on. So, I'm just gonna put some lotion on. Rub it around. Get a fair amount on there. I'm gonna blend it in as I would when I'm normally putting lotion on just like that and on this arm i'm going to do the warm and cozy toasted coconut passion fruit and soft vanilla elbow spray God, I think that was too much. might have been too much so i'm just gonna pat that in Next up, I'm going to put some Vaseline on this arm. So, Vaseline. God. Go. Okay. Sticky. And I'm going to spray this one on this one. And we're going to wait about mm, an hour. Alright everyone, so it has officially been one hour. And this is the side that we put the lotion on. This is the side that we put the Vaseline on. Now, just by the feeling of it, I would say that the lotion is a lot more comfortable. The Vaseline, it doesn't really go in to your skin. It just kind of stays there, I feel like. I don't know. Um, it's just more comfortable feeling. But, time for a small test. So this was warm and cozy and this was cool and bright. Mm, very nice. I would honestly say, from my honest opinion, both of these do work. You can do whichever way you want to do it. Because um, both of them do, in fact, work. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. I wanna ride the